Welcome back. The Ann Arbor Art Fair kicks off tomorrow. Nearly a thousand artists are going to be out there all participating in the event. And it will draw hundreds of thousands to the area. So joining us now are Helen and Frank. They are both glass artists. And we also have Angela with Angela, Angela Knight of Knight Steakhouse. Thank you so much for all coming in today. Really appreciate it. Let's start with Frank. You're on this side. Well, we'll, we'll go uh, this direction. We'll get everyone in there. Let's talk about some of the glass art you are going to bring to the event and what an honor it is to be at this event. Well, actually, he's not mic'd. He's not no. mic'd. Well, nobody oh, told me that. Okay. See, it would be know. great if somebody told me that, because it's not often somebody <laughs> stands up here and isn't mic'd, because That's when you're okay. standing up here, it's assumed yeah. they'll talk. But I we'll let you do, do that. I usually do all the talking for him. That's how anyway, it works. Okay. So, we brought some glass pieces with us here. Uh, our business name is Fired and Fused, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a couple samples. We have some strip construction on the end there. Uh, we have trees, we call those the frozen Michigan trees. And then I have uh, Rodney and Hazel in the center there, a little whimsy, and some happy flowers. So those are some examples of our artwork. Very nice, and Frank, you're looking great there. Thank you. I just want to let you know. There you just go. keep standing there smiling. We can pick up Frank a little bit from my microphone. Yeah. So that, these are absolutely beautiful pieces. And Thank this you. kind of gives you an example of some of the things you'll be able to see at the right. art fair this weekend. Right. And it's all for sale. And you can find us at booth LI519 on Liberty Street. All right. So, Angela, you are obviously part of a steakhouse. So how does the food incorporate into all this? Is there going to be food art? Well, actually, the food is going to be at our restaurant, which is called Knights, and we call it Knights on Liberty and Maynard. And we are downtown at 600 East Liberty, right across from the historic Michigan Theater. Um, we will have specials for lunch and specials for dinner. I brought a few things with me. This is our lobster roll. It's made with knuckle and claw meat. This one is our chicken salad that we make in-house. Um, a couple of desserts that are Gotta specialties. Gotta have the desserts. Tell yep. me about those. We make everything homemade um, in the house, and this is a night and day pie. It's a signature dish. It has the um, chocolate cheesecake and the ganache on top. It has, um, we brought the creme brulee, which is a very famous dish for everyone. Um, we specialize in local foods. We have a meat market that we make all of our own um, burgers. We cut all of our own steaks. You can find all of those at our location downtown. Um, tonight we'll be doing a vendor party at the Michigan Theater. There'll be over 200 guests there, and we kind of treat them to a nice night before they're busy, busy, busy for the next three days at the art fair. All right, yeah. Sandra, I'll let you have first choice. Which one do you want to try? Uh, I might, I might go for the creme brulee, believe okay. it or not. Yeah, yeah. right. Hey, why don't you pass <laughs> that down here, yeah. Angela? Absolutely. Let's not be shy. Come on. And, and so, Absolutely. And so I'll ask both of you, ladies. I mean, this is a staple in the community. This is such yes. a big event. How big of a boost is this for your business? Oh my gosh, um, this is great for us because people get to come out and see our art and when we talk about our art, we also let people know that we teach classes so they can learn how to make some of these pieces. So it really is a boost for us. And Angel, from a business point of view, how nice is it to have, I mean, an extra 100,000 people milling about over the next few days? <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. Um, for us, it's great because the weather at Art Fair is always unique, I will say. Mm -hmm. um, it can rain, it can be 95 degrees, or it can be windy or chilly. So in order to escape the elements, rest your feet, Come in, enjoy lunch, enjoy uh, beverage, um, enjoy dinner. The vendors come in and kind of relax after a long day. It's really great for us, and we enjoy serving people, and we enjoy meeting new people and um, people from all over the United States. Can you serve me that chicken salad? That would be okay. fantastic. Yeah. I'll give that a go yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, go. It's, you know, about breakfast time here. I'll give yeah. this a little Absolutely. bite here. And obviously the art is always, you know, the, the big focus. What is it like to be around so many like-minded artists who come to this year and year, you know, year, I mean, some, we talked to a man earlier today who has been going out there for 45 years. We saw that. It's very inspiring to be around other artists, and it just gives you a little boost and wanting to uh, get there to be 45 years at the Ann Arbor Art Show. I gotta say, Angela, this is fantastic. A little celery in there, nice yep. and crispy yeah. and nice and Great. creamy Thank as you well. Very much. Usually I'd go for the cowboy steak, 22 ounces of mouth watering goodness, <laughs> but it is a little early in the morning yes. for that. So <laughs> save that for later. Yeah, save yeah. that for later. So thankful for you all to come in. Angela, Helen, even Frank for looking so good. We appreciate it. Yeah, for we appreciate all of this that. In. The art fair, it starts tomorrow and it goes uh, all weekend long. Thanks a lot for that. Thank you for having us. Thank all you right. so much. much.